Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and this is the groom joining me today. We're going to talk about The Endless. Released in 2017 under a limited theatrical release, it is written, directed, and starring Justin Benson and Aaron Moorhead. It gained a lot of steam at the festival circuit, which caused it to be picked up by a larger a larger entertainment company for a larger distribution. So The Endless does begin with the two brothers, Justin and Aaron, who are the directors, as we said, uh, living kind of a crappy life, um, kind of scraping by by cleaning other people's houses as we see, eating ramen. Ugh. We've all been there. So the one brother gets a strange package with an even stranger, v not a VHS tape, but like one of the, the high eight, I think it's called the high eight, the yeah, camcorders the that were pretty popular in the late nineties, early two thousands plays it and receives this message from a cult that they used to belong to kind okay. of saying that there's an ascension coming and, you know, That's... sort of alluding to maybe they're going to do a mass suicide. And it was sort of cryptic saying, we might not be here, but we'll be here again. So we then learned that both brothers escaped from this cult. And now Aaron, presumably the younger brother, I think they do clarify that. Yes. Ten years after, wants to go back to the cult to kind of check up on them, see what they're doing. And he's hungry. He wants real food. And he's hungry. He keeps, <laughs> you know, repeating like, oh, we're eating crap food. They used to give us vegetables. They used to grow everything. We ate really corn. well. Corn. <laughs> so the beginning of the movie is mostly them getting back to this place. Some weird things kind of start to happen. And then everything kind of reveals itself to what you think might be going on. It has a lot of twists and turns. But as this is a spoiler-free review, it we'll leave it right there. to a great ending. So, likes. Likes and dislikes. What was your like? I love the way this movie shot. I was, it was very easy to stay enthralled into it because of not only the way that the movie kind of progressed, but also the way that it was shot. It was shot in a manner, there was a lot of different ang angles, it was a lot of beautiful cinematography. The setting of it's really, really, really nice and it's just the angles and everything just it with limited content at the beginning the way that it was shot actually kept you in the movie to get to the really good parts that started happening like 30 40 minutes into the movie you start getting the really good stuff up until that point the way that it's shot is the only, only thing that really keeps you in the movie all right what did you like my like is a specific character that they call shitty carl greatest name. and i love literally everything this guy does in the movie he's like that comic relief that you really want and we learned that he's in a previous movie that the director's made and he's referred to in like yeah this is how he's he's referred to this was his Shitty Carl. big reveal was and this movie i, I love it <laughs> he was great Keep, you, keep on being shitty, shitty Carl. You predicted the, the one really funny line. Yeah. Which was kind of, because I looked at you kind of like, he's not going to say that. And then he said it. Of course he's going to say bu it. And I busted out laughing. And it was one, one of those things where we don't know if we were inappropriately laughing It's fine. Stuff, which so, we have a tendency to do. What are your dislikes? Oh, Give me a dislike. God. Uh, well, the, fir the first thing is there wasn't enough shitty Carl. But... The the thing I like the first twenty minutes of this movie just seemed unnecessary. Like they kind of dragged the on the build a up bit. to them actually going back felt like it could have been done in five minutes, not thirty. Okay. Not not like twenty or thirty. I think you could have done like a little five minute recap. You know, this is this is how we got here. It's like the beginning of any every supernatural episode. Mm, yeah. <laughs> the road so far. So, <laughs> I guess my dislike would be just being someone that's visually impaired the night shots were kind of really hard for me to follow and i understand the way that they were shot yeah the oh but the moonlight even trying to infer movement was sometimes really hard for me and i understand 100 percent movies aren't shot 
for people that aren't fully sighted. I'm... It's obvious, but it's my personal dislike. But my I'm... other, like, if I had to pick another yeah. dislike, it would probably be, like, it just seemed like the movie was a little too long. Yeah. It probably could have been chopped by at least 20 or 15 minutes. Otherwise, I mean... It seemed like there was some, like, fluff. Like, like I said, like, in the beginning, there's a couple of spots in the yeah. middle that are kind of like, eh, kind That just didn't on. really... We, we didn't need to know all that backstory. Um, like, you kind of... <laughs> everyone has heard that story of people that escaped from a cult. Mm-hmm. So you kind of assume... Yeah, you, what, you what could happened. assume a lot of that. The thing with the dark, with the shots at night, like, you get why they did it. But to me, I'm f- fully sighted, and that was annoying. Because I'm like... I was, like, squinting, like, I kind of think I see something, but I don't. Which is cool in, like, a creature feature film. Like, oh, is that the monster back there? But this movie, I didn't feel like they needed to have those crazy dark night shots. You know, you had, like, a couple, like, you had, like, maybe one or two that was completely necessary when it was only the moon Mm -hmm. or moons. It was, like, that was necessary for it to be completely dark. But the other stuff, I just didn't feel like it was... Because it was either the only light was the bonfire, the only light was the moon. You know, I I don't... I I didn't think that was entirely necessary. Um, So how would you rate it out of five? Oh, man. I would give this... I'm going to give it a four. Because of the slowness of the beginning, you know, like that added little filler in the beginning. I thought that was unnecessary and it was you i feel like they i don't know if it was because it was such a low budget film that they didn't put any practical effects of any type of killings that occurred you know they they could have shown instead of they implied a bunch of stuff that they could have shown but that could solely be because of their their budget so i feel like if they gave these two guys if they give aaron and justin a bunch of money I, th- I think they are they would create a really good movie. Like, this is a low-budget movie that's... They created, like, I, I read an article that said... they cr- Like, they acknowledged the fact that they created their own little multi... Little un- un- universe within the three movies that they did. And they completely did it on, on purpose. Mm-hmm. Which, I love that. And they, have, they made two other movies. I'm interested in seeing them. But I would definitely give this a solid four out of five. So, I would rate it a 3 out of 5. I did really enjoy the movie. I thought, you know, for a low-budget movie, they did a really good job. It looked really, really good. I felt like the acting was really good. It's just, it wasn't really, like, my bag. Like, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be when I saw the um, trailer. But I did enjoy it. I do recommend it. I think everyone should give it a chance. You know, these directors know what they're doing they're oh, making yeah. great film and i hope that they keep making great film because it was really really awesome um as your comment with the practical effects i mean i don't know that there was really any time that they could have used it or money but i know i would have loved it but there wasn't it wasn't really in the storyline like oh we're gonna have some kind of gore explosion right here which yeah. i'm all about those kinds of movies don't get me wrong that, that's really what I want to see, but I also really... I had a really good time watching this movie. There were parts, particularly towards the end, where we're kind of sitting here and I'm gripping, you know, the arms of the chair. Yeah. Like, oh my god. Oh, what's going to happen? And I like the fact that it kept me guessing. It kept things really interesting. So, I do recommend this movie. Yeah, we actually... We wa- we wa- we watched it back here in the lab because of how, how we actually got it, the movie. Um... It's available on demand. There's, uh, I saw various cable companies have it in their video on demand. There's an app called Vimeo. I don't know if you're not, if you're familiar with it. It's V I M E O. Uh, they have it on their app streaming. Um, it actually came out, fun, funny enough, the day before we're actually filming this. Yet yesterday, it came out on full release, Blu-ray and DVD through uh, WellGo USA Entertainment which is a uh, media distribution company. It's funny that we mentioned them because it's a big thanks to them. They actually sent us the link to uh, actually be able to watch this uh, video completely free of charge. And that actually went through a friend of mine from the the Farsighted blog, 
Uh, you can follow him on Twitter at the Painted Man, which Thank is a you. great, great. I love his Twitter handle. He must have secured that like <laughs> year one or two of Twitter. He's I don't know how he got such a great Twitter handles. And speaking of which, where can we find you? You uh, can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, also Twitter at Reanimator. You can find me on Twitch, new name, Repeat Reanimator. Makes it easy to remember, you know, because of her. Uh, you can also find me on Twitch at Repeat Groom Ray, because I am the groom of Reanimator, um, which also makes it very easy to remember and to find me. Come find me, come follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch. We're doing the grind to Twitch affiliate. Start getting your boy paid. You can start paying for some stuff, you know, for the channel. More Twitch stuff. So, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Please like the video if you did like the video. Or you could like the video if you didn't like the video. Anyways, cool. Hit the bell. Please hit Somewhere the bell to there. get all notifications of all of my uploads. And have you seen this movie yet? If you have, please leave me a comment down below. I'd love to know your thoughts. And please, guys, honestly, check this movie out. It was a really, really good time. And we will see y'all later. <laughs>